What's up, YouTube family? This is Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with the August Q&A prompt responses. Just want to say I had a lot of good questions for this month, and the last several months have been excellent um, as far as Q&As. I just want to thank everyone for participating, not only in this one, but for all the ones in the past. I'm going to scroll down with the bomb going from oldest to newest. Excuse me. Stephen Pershing asks, do you like the Wabash Heritage Unit? Um, better question is, do I like the Norfolk Southern Units? Yeah, the Norfolk's going to hit the, uh, the hammer on the head with their Heritage Program. Uh, so glad to see you around, bud. Thank you. Uh, Braden Walston comes in. Great to see you around, buddy. He's got three questions. Favorite truck model? Well, I have several favorites. For Kenworth, it's a classic W900. For Peterbilt, it's a 379. And um, another favorite Freightliner of mine is the classic XL. Uh, so I do have a few favorites there. And I also like uh, most any Mac. Uh, favorite department store as far as clothes go? Dillard's for the win. They have the best men's department. Favorite horn on a train, uh, favorite Leslie horn, RS3L. Um, All-time favorite Leslie is RS3L. All-time favorite Nathan horn of the olders is the P5. And my favorite newer Nathan horn is the K5LLA. So thank you, Braden, for your questions. Stephen KC Railfan, glad to see you around. But man, he's got a lot of good questions here. Long list. Which children's series on trains did you like better when you were younger? I love toy trains or Thomas and Friends. I love toy trains for the win. Thoughts on a quiet zone, railroad crossings? I have a phrase for that. Quiet zones are terrible. Um, you still hear the trains as they go by, but let me say this much. It's not the same thing. Because uh, the horn sequence actually completes that um, uh, cycle there when the trains are going by. So... Quiet zones to me are not the best, but I have rail fans, some of them, but uh, it's basically, does it matter to me? No and yes at the same time, but I would prefer a horn zone. Have you toured the Amtrak exhibit train? No, but that's that's on my list right now. Do you like the Amtrak and SEPTA ACS 64s? Yeah, those are pretty cool units. NNW Y6Bs or the PRRK 4s, uh, Y6Bs for the win. Would you rather see the NW the NS8103, excuse me, painted black, stay in the blue or stay in the blue scheme? For me, it would have to be in Fishwick Black. And speaking of that, my favorite Norfolk and Western schemes, I like the Fishwick Black, the black with the gold NW letter with the script scheme from the 1950s. And um the other logo was the um um the Claytor logo was okay, but the Fishwick and the As Delivered Black on um, the NNW 600 series uh, GP9s were really, really good. Um, and I also liked the Hamburger Scheme or the Half Moon, but I did not like the Pebbler Blue. It was only about a handful of those units that received that paint, as well as the Skunt Scheme and three GP38 ACs received that paint. Chessy System on the Milwaukee Road. Uh, um... I actually like both. My uncle worked for Chessie back in the 70s, and Milwaukee Road actually had a good fleet of VMDs. So thought I would clarify about the NNW paint there for a minute. All right, so Amtrak Phase 1 or Phase 3? Three. Phase 3 for the win. It looked good on the um, the uh, F40PH, and it looked good on the Genesis. How many Amtrak Heritage units have you seen? One, and that's the Amtrak 130. Which one would sound better on a 60E? RS5T or 3L? RS5T. The CNO 2666 Allegheny or the NNW 2664 Class A's? NNW Class A's for me. Which railroad do you think had the better steam? The New York Central or the Southern? Actually, both did. Southern had the Crescent. I forgot which model it is, but the NYC had the uh, the famous Hudson's, the, the J1A's. B, C's, D's, and E's. And the most famous is J1E, number 5344. That's my favorite New York Central Hudson. It's the one that, that Joshua Lino Cowan used as his prototype. And that was a beautiful locomotive. All right, next question. Western Maryland or the Atlantic Coastline? 
Western Maryland for sure because it had a lot of um, mountain passes up there. And the ACL is cool because it's um, right up in Petersburg and um, it's just a flat um, just a flat line. It's just a straight shot from north to south. Ferramax or CP? I like Ferramax. Would it be awesome if CSS Pan wanted the locomotives YN3B to a YN1? Uh, I would rather see it on an EMD because to me... The YN1 and the YN2 look better on the EMDs. Summer or fall, I like both. So thank you, Stephen, for your questions. I love the long list of variety of questions. These are really good. Next is Southern Tier Rail Fan Productions. Glad to see you're back, and I'm glad Stephen came back. Uh, what's your opinion on NS canceled the SD70A ACE Tier 4? Um, that way would have been AC, the uh, NS term, but the AH Tier 4 is CSX term. Um, basically, I'm very happy with that because uh, UP has stored most of theirs uh, just because of various issues. Um, so I'm glad to see they got more Tier 4 credit units. Now, what's your opinion on the um, Horseshoe Curve derailments in July? I really don't have a good answer, but I just think it was just track failure. Uh, favorite NSUP and Amtrak carriage units? I love all of them from those three railroads. Um, thoughts on the Rock Island Heritage, the IAS 513? It's okay. Favorite logo in the SD series? My all-time favorite SD series is the SD40-2 Standard and High Cab. Um, favorite Evolution Series locomotive? The Tier 4. Um, thoughts on PSR? I really don't have a good answer, but I just understand that they're putting, long, they're putting trains a little bit longer using distributed power and cutting costs. That's all I'm... Uh, really understand, but here's the thing, you know, if it helps the railroads, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Thoughts on NS retiring the sixth on the variances of the sixties. Like I said before, it's you know they're worn out locomotives, and I think their time was just about up. So um, I think it's good to kind of rotate the equipment out with the old and in with the new. So thank you, sir, for your questions. Nathan Relfin comes in with four. Um, with four um, questions here. Favorite Jeevo engine? Tier 4 out of the newer times. Favorite Freightliner truck? Classic XL. A pay on the 60 variant retirements on NS. As mentioned before, it happens. I think they're just rotating the equipment out and just replacing the old with new locomotives. Favorite CSX older EMD? Mostly SD40-2s, GP38-2s. All, most of all the older EMDs. Excuse me. Um, so thank you, Nathan, for your questions. Take username comes in. Glad to see you're back, buddy. Glad to see Nathan's still coming in. Um, do you prefer the north or the south? I prefer a little bit of everywhere. Khakis, cargo pants, or jeans? Hmm. I like variances of all three. New York subway or the D.C. Metro? Oh, D.C. Metro for the win, buddy. That's an awesome, awesome system to ride. Do you prefer the wood power or the coal powered steam engines? Coal powered for the win. Dream job? I really don't have a good answer for that. Um, I'm still thinking about that. I, I gotta give that one some thought. Prefer science fiction or high fantasy? Science fiction. So thank you, sir, for your questions. Conrail 722 SD80 Mac comes in. Glad to see you're back, buddy. Um, YN1 or YN2? YN2 for the win. Do you know that SD40 has a, a 6333 has a K5LLE? Hmm. I gotta listen to it and let me listen to it. Uh, if you can provide an audio clip, that would be good. 59E or 59 Eco? 59E. Favorite short line um, here locally? Uh, the MPBL and the CWRY, the Commonwealth Railway and the Norfolk Portsmouth Beltline. Um, RJ Corman is okay. Um... Another rail, another one that I personally like is Buckingham Ranch. Favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, ho, 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 ho. any ice cream flavor is good, man. Any ice cream is up my alley. So um, that's a good one. Favorite truck company? I like a little bit of everybody, but I'm more into the models. Um, all trucking companies are different, but um, you just gotta watch out for Swift. What kind of movies do you like? I like watching a lot of documentaries, you know, on 
older people uh, like um, George Washington and some of them. Also watching railroad documentaries as well. Acela Express or the Japan Bullet Express. Hmm. I like the Acela because it's here. Japan, I believe, still has the Nozomi Series 700 and a few of the Shinkansens left. I don't know what newer trains are out there for them, but both of them are cool. GTW, IC, or BC Rail. Oh, I love all three. When are you coming to PA? Don't know yet. You think NS will get more leasers in the future? Only time is going to tell. Best concepts for V07, I have seen so many of them. I mean, I have seen a UP duo. I have seen BC Rail NS lash up. I have seen a little bit of everything. So, uh, a lot of times, lashes on V07 or most any train I get is pretty good. So, thank you, sir, for your questions. Hunter Evans comes back in with some more questions. Glad to see you're back. Favorite gas station chain? Mm, I prefer... Hmm, I like Sheets and I like Wawa. Thoughts on the abolishment of B-17 and transformation of V-18 from a manifest to a turn job? I see why it makes sense. Have one train do it all. I sort of I sort of agree with that. But, um... So that's uh, one crew that's actually doing all that work and going back. So it's a little bit harder on the crew. But if you think about it, it's cutting a little bit of cost down the road. Favorite grocery store chain? I like Food Lion. Uh, Wally World, of course. Well, that's Walmart. And, um... Kroger and Harris Teeter. I don't mind Target and I do like Sam's Club. Favorite spot on the CS Exports was sub? By the good old Seaboard Airlines station in Suffolk. What would you be asked if you saw an Optimus Prime truck while truck spotting? I would be pretty happy. What train horn would sound best on a Peterbilt? K3LA, P5, or RS3 or whatever. Any train horn would sound good on a Peterbilt. Uh, the quads always sound good, so. Thank you, Hunter, for your questions. Logan DeWiller comes back in. Glad to see you guys are coming around. Thoughts on the 3194, the Spirit of Law Enforcement? That's a cool unit. Let me say, that's a cool unit. Um, Freyliner Cascade or Kelwar T2000? T2000. P for a new CSX Heritage unit? I really don't know. Time will just tell on that one. What happened to CSX 3099? It was de it, it was involved in a wreck, but I believe it was repaired. I would have to do some verification on it. Erie Railroad to Erie Lackawanna. Erie Lackawanna, better half to me, was the Lackawanna. Nickel Plater, the New York Central, has to be the New York Central. I love their black paint scheme. Have you ever rail fanned the sand patch grade? That is on my list to go. Uh, if you had to bring back any fallen flag rail, what would it be? Um... If, for me, it would be Conrail, because um, I love Conrail, and or Western Maryland. R.J. Corman or Chicago, Fort Wayne, and Eastern. Uh, Chicago, Fort Wayne, and Eastern. I kind of don't like uh, Corman for just a couple of reasons. Favorite Conrail symbol? I don't know my symbols well, but um, anything on the East Coast was good. Um, have you been to Attica Junction or Salem, Ohio? No, it's on my list to go. Favorite intermodal Conrail symbol? Um, I just love the, the intermodals that Conrail had. Schneider National Orange or the White Trailers? Orange for the win. Um, Dashler or Marion? I've heard thoughts of both. I've never been there, but I hear both of them are really good. And Norfolk and Western or the B&O has to be um, the Norfolk and Western. Um, so... This will conclude part one of this series. We'll pick it up with Stevie, Steve Weeby BB channel here in just a few moments. So sit back and we will start part two momentarily. All right, guys, I will see you in part two.